you guys just saw was the infamous Gawan 2 in action. A true menace to anyone in the immediate 10 kilometer radius. That's 6.2 miles for our American and British viewers. So we just gotta look at the factory that is pumping out thousands of Garand 2s like they are brownies every single month and which are currently a major problem for Ukraine. In this video we'll discuss the implications of the footage released by the Russians and what this means for the wider Ukrainian war. Essentially the video released by the Russian state confirms what we sort of knew already. Russia is producing the Shahed 136 derived Garand 2 locally. Judging by the thousands launched on Ukrainian cities every month, it is mass producing them and they are actively developing the platform. The deal to produce the Shahed 136 locally in Russia was inked sometime in November 2022. Initially these locally produced Shahed 136 had minor modifications made to them, primarily in retrofitting of Russian components like GLONASS. This eventually shifted to even using lighter airframe material like carbon fiber and glass fiber, presumably produced within Russia. The reason was simple, to pivot away from relying on Iranian supplies and to increase supply chain resilience. Sporadic evidence of more modifications appeared every now and then, an example being the development of the Grand Prix in late 2024. This variant sported a blended body design and a black coating, presumably for stealth purposes. Other notable features included a turbojet engine. We finally received a bombshell on July 20th when Russian state TV aired a rare look inside the Yelabuga facility. I know I shouldn't be making jokes, especially since Russia launched 57 or more Grand 2s mere hours later. But this is no ordinary factory, they are aura farming there. I mean look at this, these are literal bats out of hell. Of course, the black paint serves a purpose besides looking cool. The first is probably that it is tougher to spot at night. And secondly, it might contain radar absorbing material. Within the same footage, we also discovered that they have no problem procuring what seems to be CNC machines. It's impressive to say the least. Now what is Ukraine doing about this? Well, they don't have the luxury of producing drones in concentrated facilities like Russia does. Russia is massive, and reaching their factories is a big ask. Even after the daring Operation Spiderweb, which in my opinion, that operation is unlikely to be recreated anytime soon again. You'd have to be one dunce to fall for that again. So Ukraine is producing weapons in a decentralized manner, in small workshops. That is the price they must pay to ensure a fighting chance. The consequence of this is that quality is hit or miss, but I suspect they can innovate faster as these workshops are not state-run, unlike the Russians. This is evident by the Army of Drones program, which acts as a middleman for the private sector and the Ukrainian army. That concludes this short video. I hope you found it informational. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and your thoughts in the comments below.